Today we're going to be showing you how to install this round uh, damp pipe diverter. So it's a great product if you want to collect water off one damp pipe in particular, especially if you want to run it to a rain barrel or an IBC or another sort of water collection device. It suits a range of different pipe sizes and depending on uh, what area you live in, you might get a couple of different adapters to make it suit your pipe. Uh, so this one's 90 millimetre pipe, but it also suits uh, 80 millimetre, 65 millimetre pipe, as well as uh, three inch SDR35 and Schedule 40 pipe. So the first thing we're gonna do is figure out where we're gonna put this. So it's a glueless installation. So when we put it in, we're gonna have the chance to swivel it around. Um, so we've got a bit of flexibility there. But the most important thing when you set this up, you wanna make sure is that this nozzle here is higher than wherever the water that you're gonna store, wherever that level is, just because gravity is gonna be feeding water out of here, just so that you don't have any uh, backflow back into the unit. So if we've got a rain barrel, for example, let's say our rain barrel is about this high, we just wanna set this up so that the nozzle is just a little bit lower. Um, it could be 10 millimeters, an inch lower, uh, just to make sure that your rain barrel doesn't overflow because this uh, has a nice little function inside that once the water hits this level, it will then start to spill back out into the unit itself. So this becomes your barrel overflow, which is pretty, pretty nifty. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna choose that as my height. I'm gonna make my cut first, and then we're gonna uh, start installing it. Now that we've made our first cut, we've gotta make the second one, where the slip coupling is going to end up fitting into. So depending on what country you're in and what size pipes you've got, uh, because there's adapters that might be included, some of those dimensions might be a little bit different. Some of them might be a little bit higher or a little bit lower just to fit the actual adapter in. So just make sure you have a look at your instructions just to double check that dimension. It's pretty clearly outlined, so it's easy to tell. For this 90 millimeter version though, I need to cut uh, 210 millimeters up. Now that you've made that cut, uh, just deburr it, just if there's any loose bits of plastic hanging off the edge, just scrape them off. Uh, if you need a, a blade or a screwdriver to knock them off, that's fine too. The next thing we're gonna do is install the unit. So it just slips into position. We put this top collar in first. Now, if you've got a pipe which is not 90 millimeter pipe, if you've got 65 millimeters, for example, just double check your instructions. You might just have to glue the adapter on first and that will just end up taking it to that 90 millimeter size. Uh, likewise with some of the other sizes. So just double check that piece of the instructions first. If you've got 90 millimeters though, we're gonna just slip this in all the way up. Now you can see in there, I've got that blue flow director. Make sure that's in position. I'm gonna slip it up. I'm gonna get the, the main body and you can see that everything's seated nicely in there. So just double check that before you put it in. I'm just gonna place it in, drop it down and then that just sleeves over the top. And the nice thing about it not being a glue joint is you can swivel this around either direction. Uh, today, I'm gonna to have it facing uh, towards me because I'm going to pretend that there's a rain barrel sitting here. The next thing to do is install one of the end fittings. There's a 12 millimeter click on uh, garden fitting so you can screw that on in position or you can also use this one and a quarter inch barb fitting which if you're using a if you're setting up with a rain barrel it's a really nice one to use because it's got a bigger diameter it just means that more, more water is going to flow through it although you also get a heap of water flowing through this little guy so if you're using a normal garden tap it, it works really well. Once you've put your barb fitting on, if you're connecting to a rain barrel, we're just gonna put our hose kit on. Now the hose kit comes as a, as a separate kit. So depending on what your rain barrel setup is, ours might be the perfect one for you. The nice thing is that this diameter suits our barb fitting beautifully. So we're just gonna slip that on and do it up. Uh, so now that's all set up perfectly. Uh, all we have to do now is turn the switch on or off. Uh, I'll turn this around so you can see. There's some markings on the side when it's on or off. On obviously is water flowing through uh, and off just closes the valve so no water will flow through this pipe. So you would turn it off if your rain barrel was already full um, or maybe if it's winter and if you don't want to collect any water in your rain barrel if there's a risk of freezing. Also if you want to take this fitting off for some reason um, you might want to turn it off just so water's not spewing out. Uh, at the next rainfall event. So I'm gonna turn it on. And then that's the damp pipe diverter all installed and that's all there is to it. Uh, jump onto the website and there you'll find the install instructions uh, if you want a pap paper copy. Uh, and that's really useful because it lists out some of those dimensions for those cuts. Uh, so it's a nice little guide to have just on the side when you're putting it in. 
Thanks for watching.